Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So while we're in quarantine, we're going to go ahead and do a, um, a quick little at-home spa day. Uh, this was actually my mother's idea. She was like, oh, you should do a skincare one, but with Nikki in it. And I was like, good idea. Plus we have um, matching uh, jumpsuits from Me Undies that uh, Nikki got us from Christmas. So yeah, we figured we'd go ahead and just like ball out and uh, be twins and do some skincare. Because um, if you guys can't tell, I have like, I don't know if you can see it in this terrible uh, like whitewash lighting as I get closer to it. I've got some really bad pimples going on on my chin. Nikki said that he also has been breaking out pretty bad. But yeah, and what else are we gonna do besides uh, some at-home skincare? So I don't know how this is gonna post, but we did just do an Ulta haul video. Yesterday we recorded it and I picked up some um, skincare stuff there and some hair care stuff. So we're gonna use a couple of the things that we got in that haul. So the first thing that we're going to be doing today is uh, this bad boy. This is the Biore Rose Quartz and Charcoal uh, for oily skin. And we're just gonna do that as like a nice base wash, um, get our, our skin all nice and clean beforehand. And then we'll jump into some of the masks and uh, some of the other stuff we'll be doing. So, hand. Oh wow, Ooh. oh, it's so glittery. It's very glittery. Really but it's tell. like really pretty. Yeah. It smells good it. too, like rose. Oh, it does. No, but not really. <laughs> Cause rose is like very, it's almost like some people love it and some it's off putting to some people. This is actually like, I would say this is a pretty generically decent smelling one in my opinion. So, all right, let's get some water. I'm on a stool cause I'm so short. So it's gonna be awkward. Do you wash it all off? Not all of it, but. <laughs> Most of it, if you need another pump, you can grab it. How you feeling? I'm blind. <laughs> I can't see anything. I meant how the mask was, or how the wash was feeling. But. Oh, it, yeah, it, it feels interesting. I just shaved, so it kind of hurts my face. It's like, I, I don't even know what it's got in it. It's maybe, oh, it's got, I guess it's the charcoal. Cause it's got something that kind of almost feels minty. Like yeah. when you're smelling it, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when it's like in close to your pores and stuff, it kind of, it does, it tingles. And I did not just shave my face, so. It might just be like a universal feeling. This is what it looks like with a little bit more water. It's all in my eyes right now, and I uh, feel like I'm dying a little bit, but I feel clean. Oh, so, so very clean. My dog. She's like, what are you guys doing? Why are you on a stool? What is life? I think, uh, did, I, did I do it right? I mean, you're just washing your face. Have you washed your face before? No. Oh, well then I don't know. I hope you did. I think I did it right. I can't see it. Just, why is yours so dry? Did okay. you massage it in? Yeah, was I not supposed to do that? It's a face wash. Yeah? <laughs> wash it off, bro. Wash it off? Yes, it's a wash. <laughs> it's got wash in the name. You've got wash in the name. I can't see anything. There's so much soap in my being. Alrighty, so faces are preliminarily washed. So okay. here's your pore strip. You wanna grab the box so I can show them what it looks like. This is also something that we picked up. Biore was doing like 30% off their whole brand. So that's why we got a couple washes from them. And we got uh, these charcoal masks for the nose. They're nose strips, pore strips where you rip out your pores and uh, yeah, you feel some pain. Uh, so you can finally feel alive again. I really like the Biore pore strips. That's what we normally buy. So uh, I've not used the charcoal ones yet, but I like charcoal pretty much everything. So that's why I figured we'd go ahead and test these little bad boys out. I think the hardest part is gonna be applying them like still on camera, but like leaning forward so I can see in the mirror behind the camera. So you get this nice little strip and then it's it's nice and thin and there's a little tab and you just. That goes on the bridge of my nose, right? Yeah. Like it's towards the front. Okay. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like the, or the tip. Yeah. Yep. Boop. Towards the pointy part. The pointy part, yeah. The what? The pointy part. Yeah. Oh, I can see the camera's like focusing on the black part. It's like, what is, what it just happened to your face? I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know. I, listen to the sound of my voice. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> you can go ahead and explain what I just explained to you. So. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> We're putting this on our face next. Is that right? <laughs> Bradley, Brad, Bradley, you explained Bradley's it then. Bradley's sitting here you at his computer then, and he but... literally remembers everything I just said. And Nikki's like, I don't want it. Literally, that we started the camera and I just told him what to say. And he's like, what did... <laughs> this, this stuff goes on face. So this is the Dr. Uh, brand vacuum cleaner pore mask. Since we're doing a pore strip on our nose and it's going to have to sit for like 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put this in our T-zone and on our cheeks, just kind of like up in this area and down on my chin as well. 
Uh, and we're gonna do that so that way they all set together and we're not taking 30 minutes to do essentially the same thing in different parts of our face, so. Yeah, I knew all of that. Uh, yeah. Or around me, or familiar. <laughs> Probably next time you can get in on this. Day. <laughs> we'll get you a matching jumpsuit. Yeah, and maybe maybe you'll remember the things that Taylor says. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit of this. It's like it's got like blue stuff. Yeah, they're little like poor crystals. It looks oh. different, like exfoliating crystals, but it looks different than what I remember it looking like last time. But it is old, so it also smells so chemically. It does, yeah. Yeah, you smell that? I do, yeah. But I remember this being one of my favorite masks. It's been a hot minute since I've used it though, if I'm being honest, so here you go. Yay. He need help? Maybe. Do you want me to put it on for Rocky? She there we go. Just tearing down our set. Don't sigh at me. So we're gonna let these set for like 15 minutes probably, and then uh, we'll come and rip out all of our pores on camera. Okay, so we have sat with these on our face for about 20 minutes. Um, these masks turn blue. They do not peel off, they just wash off. But I can already, I told Nikki, I can already feel that this little pimple that I pointed out at the beginning is, is smaller than what it was. Um, and I know my nose feels super tight, so I'm hoping that we rip out like a whole bunch of like, just dirt and sin and, and awfulness from our noses, so. You wanna take off your glasses and get ready to rip these off? Yep. It's not gonna feel pretty. 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 Oh wow, I didn't pull the mask off, I don't, did I? Maybe I did, that pulled off super easily. Yeah, mine did too, I didn't really get that much though. I got some. The the way I always test, like if you hold it up, the best one I ever okay. had, I, I pulled like a lot. huge chunk out of my chin one time and it was like the most satisfying thing ever, but I don't just know. Like hairs. I got some. No, like you, right I can see some. Those are definitely pores. They yeah. look like hairs, but that's definitely the dirt and stuff from your pores, so. Well, it feels smoothered by a lot. Yeah, mine does too. But we'll wash these off our faces and then uh, we'll tell you how they feel. And then we're gonna do a soothing mask because I'm always big about when you go in there and you like rip stuff out of your pores and you do like a really, like heavy masks, something that's going to go in there and strip a lot of that dirt out. I think it's good to do like a soothing and a tightening mask afterwards. That way you you keep your pores from being open and exposed and hopefully get in there and kind of mellow out your skin as well after doing really rough. So let's wash these off and then we'll, we'll show you guys the next two, it's like a mask duo set. Like we're gonna do two different masks in different areas of our face, so. So faces have been washed. You can tell uh, the spots where we had the Dr. Brandt mask. Like I was looking, the camera died and then I was looking in the mirror. You can really see like the red line. Like you can see even on my neck where I brought a little bit down and then I left it empty. We were agreeing that our faces feel really smooth where we had the mask. So I definitely think it goes in there and does it. It just was really hard on your skin initially, especially after washing it off. So mm -hmm. to counteract that, we are going to go with um, one of my personal favorite, I would say Dr. Brandt's one of my favorite skincare lines, but uh, Peter Thomas Roth also has a lot of really great masks. He is extremely pricey. So um, I try and buy like the bundle sets where you get a couple different masks in smaller sizes. Um, but I did pick up a, like a two years ago, maybe we got a Peter Thomas Roth mask set that came with like decent little size jars. So there's one of them. We got two of them we're gonna do today. Um, it came with, I think, five of them and then like an application thing, it was $75. So definitely expensive for masks, but um, a good deal in my opinion, based on how much he normally retails for. Now, I normally use these in a combination. There's, like I said, there's five different ones. This one, as you can tell, I've used a bunch of it. Uh, he's uh, looking a little sparse in there. This is the one that I think is gonna help the best for the areas where we had the Dr. Brandt mask on. It's going to be the Cucumber Gel Mask, which is extreme detoxifying and hydrating. So this is going to go in there and hopefully cool, because the cucumbers obviously they go in there and cool. Um, and then it's going to um, also bring back a little bit of moisture and still go in there and be counteracting any sort of dirt that might have gotten into our pores once we ripped out all of the dirt. The other one we're gonna use, this is probably my favorite and I try and use it in very particular spots because I love it so much. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I don't want it to go away fast. I think that's the logic in my head. This is the 24 karat gold mask, um, which is pure luxury lift and firm mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this like under our eyes. So we have a nice tightness under the eyes. I'm probably going to do a little bit like on my nose too, where we did the, the pore mask and then um, probably in my T zone and then the rest I'll do the cucumber mask. So you only need a little bit of the Peter Thomas Roth mask. So a little bit goes a long way. So, and the gold mask is so pretty. Like if you can see it, it's like really super gold. 
And then on my eyes, it's just like, ah. Oh. It reminds me of Wander Beauty has like these little gold, gold eye bags. I think it's called like golden ticket or something like that. Or like golden luggage or something. And it's it's little or little like the eye masks that go under your eyes and just sit there. And every time I put this on, it reminds me of that. Yeah, I nailed it. You can do a little bit more. I'd say a little bit more. You should be able to see at least a little bit of the product. Oh yeah, the cucumber one, you can feel it cooling. Yeah. Like it really goes in there and helps your. I could really feel how, how, oh, no. how hot my uh, face was from yeah. the first mask. Now these masks, I normally like to leave on for another like 20 minutes or so. So we're gonna go ahead and let them sit as well. I think personally with masks, the longer you have to let them sit into your skin and kind of absorb in there, I think it's the better. Obviously don't leave them on for a whole day, but if you can leave them on for 20 or 30 minutes, then it's definitely gonna be more effective in my opinion than leaving them on for like five to 10. So this is gonna be our last set of masks that we'll do. Like I said, just a really quick little easy one to try and get our, shock our skin back into uh, some sort of normalcy, considering how weird everything is at the moment and schedule wise and stress wise and all that. Yeah, so we're gonna let these sit and then we'll come back and then we'll do some like last minute, like astringent, and uh, moisturizers and stuff like that to go in there and really help preserve everything that we've done today. <laughs> so we left the mask on for 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's reading off a cue card. <laughs> so we left. The, it's like he's a no, hostage. I he's can't, like, I can't like, read, so. Hi, please oh, come and, God, and get God, me. God. I need $100,000 or they're going to kill me, please. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm being <laughs> They feed me every day and I have one towel that I use as a blanket and a towel and a toilet, um, but I am fine. Please just send the money. I want to live. Thank you. <laughs> That's literally what you're like on camera. <laughs> You're doing great. Mask 25 minutes. You're, you're doing mask great. Mask off. So, okay, mask off. So, so the cucumber has pretty much dissolved fully into our skin. It is shiny still, but you can't really see it. The gold, however, like especially with the strategic placement, I kind of feel like we're about to go to Coachella. Uh, oh, yeah. We're not, and we're not going oh. anywhere. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna wash these off and then we're going to just do like a quick wipe down using some charcoal wipes from Yes2, which I have talked about in the past. I love Yes2, so we're gonna use those. And then we're gonna do some astringent, um, some cooling sprays, some vitamin C oil, and a nice uh, moisturizer to finish it off. And we're gonna call it a day. So we washed off the masks. Here is a charcoal wipe. These are just some charcoal makeup wipes from Yes2, which is one of my um, favorite affordable skincare brands, they pretty much solely use their uh, makeup wipes now because I just love them so much and they have a bunch of different varieties. The charcoal one is one of the ones that I like a lot and I've been using them a lot lately. So we're just gonna kind of go in there and um, make sure all the product's off, get everything nice and clean before we start going in with the astringent and all of that stuff. Um, this step, in my opinion, is just a touch bit unnecessary. Our skin's pretty clean already, but I do like to go in and just as one like last stitch purifying effort, try and get everything all cleaned out of my pores and my, my skins and all that good stuff. So now we're going to take the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Hydrating Toning Lotion Refiner, um, which is more or less an astringent, an alcohol-based um, liquid that kind of goes in there and tightens everything up and gives it like a last little burst of like cleansing before you start doing the uh, the lotions and the creams and all that good stuff. And I put a good little bit on there. I normally use makeup pads, but I ran out and then we just put in a giant order from Ulta and I didn't even think about ordering some. So that means we've ordered two times since then I've needed them and I uh, didn't order them. Next thing just is like a quick little like cooling cause my face is still a little red. Nikki's is just a little bit red. Mine's a little redder cause I do get a lot more sensitive about that kind of stuff. We're gonna use the Mario Badascu facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea because this is the best one for cooling. And it has uh, my favorite fragrance. I have the rose one as well cause everybody talks about rose water and how helpful that is. But the scent of that one is a little bit more off putting. So I wasn't sure if you would be okay with it. So I figured we'd go with this one. And I just normally kind of spray like one on each cheek. You want me to spray you? Yeah, spray me. Close your mouth. <laughs> Be clean. Repent. <laughs> I cast you out. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> uh, rub it in. No, nah, just let it dry. Oh. 
All right, now we are going in with another Mari Badascu product. I've used this in a skincare video in the past because it came in a set, but I really like this. It is a Mari Badascu Vitamin C Serum, and this pretty uh, it's pretty potent, so I'm just gonna do like, I normally do a drop on my cheek each side, and then I do one on my forehead, basically my uh, biggest areas of coverage. You're gonna have to do it. I can't, I don't even know where my face is right now. <laughs> what year is this? Okay, just rub it in. The pimple on my chin is doing a ton better. In fact, I felt like a little, just now as I was rubbing everything and I felt like a little like crystal come out of it. Oh really? Yeah, like a little, I guess you would call it like a, I don't know. Oh shit. Is it in your eye? Yeah. Oh, well Nikki's now fully blind. He was partially blind before and now he cannot see a thing. Ah. All right, so we're gonna let this dry down for a couple minutes because this is a very rich serum. So I'm gonna let this sit and probably for like five minutes on our faces and then we'll go ahead and finish off with a quick moisturizer, just a touch of it and then we'll be done. So yeah. Okay, so everything is dried down. Um, the serum does leave your face a little bit sticky. So it's just yeah. a little touch like sticky right now. But other than that, it should be good to go. We are just gonna go in with the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. I believe I got this in my Ipsy Plus one month, but I'm not positive. I know it came from a subscription. I'm just not sure if it was Ipsy or Foxy. But I'm just gonna put a little bit on each cheek and then rub it in. Oh my God, what am I doing this for you now? Yep. All right, well, my fee is $150 an hour. Okay, where's the puppy? I think she left. Oh. Like, she just packed a bag and said bye. Because <laughs> she hates us and hates it here. You don't me enough. I'm miserable here. <laughs> Bradley laughs because he knows it's true. Yeah, I can go oh, ahead shit. and say after everything that uh, we've just done to our skin, my one pimple that really was the worst definitely feels lower. It still is red, it's still definitely got a bump but it feels much improved from what I was working with this morning. There's a little bit other of like discoloration and, and some either budding or disappearing pimples in this area. So obviously there's still some stuff that's going on there, but I definitely feel like my skin is in a better state than it was when we started that this morning. What about you? I mean, it, it feels a lot smoother, but I can't, I can't see whether or not it's more clear. Does it look clear? Yeah, I, I know mean, I still, I probably still have some right You there. still have the red marks, but the thing with the skincare is they're not really gonna remove the discoloration and the red marks right away, but they might, right. it, I can't, I don't know how raised they were to begin with. So if it feels smoother, that probably means that it's helping counteract it at least a little bit. Yeah. And I'm also a big advocate for the more that it kind of sits in your face and your face kind of is able to just absorb and breathe, then you'll be able to actually right. tell. Thank you. So I had a really you, big hair. It's okay, thank you. Um, then you'll be able to actually really tell like how effective it was. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was our at home spa day. Just a chill way to kind of kill some time and show you guys. Nikki on camera as well. Hi. <laughs> You're a star, baby. <laughs> You're a star. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, it was fun to do my first face mask. Yeah, he'd never done a face mask before. Yeah. He'd done pore strips before, but he told me that he'd never done a face mask. So that was uh, shocking. And yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the page, please do so. Um, we're really excited. We're growing really fast right now. And we're so thankful for all the new people who've joined the Dark Angel family. Uh, we just want to keep growing and we want you guys to be with us every step of the way. So we love you all very dearly and we thank you for your continued support. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy the content. And if you have any suggestions, we are very open to it. If you want to see stuff, if you want us to try particular brands or products, let me know. Um, we're really, we want to hear everything that you guys want to see. So, um, so yeah, other than that. Oh, stay girly, but with a dark twist.